And here we just have a quick run through of Capcom's uh, Biohazard figure, figurine line and action figure line. It's actually equally divided between the Japanese releases by Organic and the uh, North American release by NECA Online Toys. So here's the zombie. You can't really see it that clearly because they wrap it so well in the plastic, but um, that's the zombie from the first uh, full motion video of the game, CG movie of the game. When you first discover the zombie, it's like munching on uh, Kenneth Sullivan, so... There it is, it's accurately reproduced. Trust me on that. Here's uh, Rebecca Chambers versus a hunter. Another scene. Part 6, right there. Chris Redfield versus Yawn. I personally never liked to use Chris because his game was too fucking hard in too many ways, but there he is fighting the massive biohazardous snake Yawn. Then you have Jill Valentine versus the Chimera, very self-explanatory during the final lab scene of the game. And this one I think is very well detailed. This is from the NECA toy line from the Westron audience. This is a lab called Zombie. This is for the 10th anniversary of Resident Evil, as it states on the box. It comes with a severed hand and a crow. And there's a tremendous amount of detail in that. Then you have the infamous Tyrant. He severed at the legs because he'd be almost too big to package together. But as it states, he's almost 10 feet tall. A lot of great detail. You can see his exposed heart right there. And finally, for this collection, we have probably almost everybody's famous uh, biohazardous organic weapon or bioorganic weapon. It's the Hunter right there. And it looks about just as menacing as he does in the GameCube remake of the game. So, there you have it. Basically, uh, you have three figures from the North America NECA Online Toys. And uh, about four out of the, I think, a total of probably seven or eight in the organic figurine sculpts. So, that's it.